Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to show you my koi and goldfish pond. I don't think I've ever made a video on it before, and since it's a nice day, I thought it'd be the perfect day to go take a look. I've had this pond for roughly seven years now or so, which is pretty good because the liners usually go bad because of the sun. I believe that they're only roughly good for usually three to five, depending on how long they're sitting in the open sun. Now, size-wise, this pond is somewhere between five to 600 gallons or so, I believe. Uh, it's roughly 12 to 13 feet long by 6 to 7 feet wide. On um, the deepest part is a little bit more than a foot and a half. Um, but there is some more shallow parts. It's an oval too, so it makes it a little bit hard to calculate how big it is exactly. Um, but I would guess it's about five to 600 according to some of the calculations I've done online. Now at the moment, I only have seven fish in here and only one of those is a koi. Uh, if you remember from my videos long ago, you'll know that I had a lot more fish, but I ended up selling them all so I could focus on geckos. And, you know, a koi can't really live in this pond forever because they get too big anyway, so it's probably good that there's only one koi in here. The goldfish could be fine, though. Goldfish would be fine in five to 600 gallons. A koi, however, would not. But uh, he was a Walmart koi, I believe, so it's better than being at Walmart, I guess. Now, even though I've had this pond for seven years, this was not my first pond, actually. I had a much smaller pond. I think it was actually 55 gallons. It was like what they call a preformed pond. It's a hard plastic. You just dig the hole and you put it in. Uh, there's no liner work or anything like that. And we ended up liking that little one so much that we ended up trying to make our own, and that's what you see here. Uh, and for first try, I think it came out pretty good. I dug this entire hole that the pond was in. Uh, and the hardest part about it was definitely making the waterfall. I remember because I was digging the hole, I threw all the dirt up onto that pile, and then trying to get the rocks to be perfectly level and the hole at the top so that the water can funnel into there. It's kind of difficult, harder than I thought it was going to be for sure. Uh, and I didn't actually know if I wanted a waterfall at the beginning, but I think it looks nice now, so I'm glad I did it. And actually the overall process of making this pond wasn't that hard. I think most of you could probably do it too if you tried, so... You know, if you want to make a pond, you know, summertime is now. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos about this pond, uh, just let me know down below in the comments because I'm not exactly sure what I could do about it. I just thought it was pretty cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.